What is single nucleotide polymorphism and how to detect it? This video will help you to select the best approach for your SNP genotyping. First, what is SNP? Single nucleotide polymorphisms are found in both coding and non-coding regions of genes. SNP is one of the most common types of variation. Single nucleotide variants are characterized by changes in a single position within the DNA sequence, including conversions, reversals, insertions, or deletions, with a variable frequency of more than 1%. In humans, approximately 3 million SNPs were found, with an average of 1 in 500 to 1,000 base pairs. Studies of population-specific SNP datasets are useful for predicting individual responses to certain drugs, sensitivity to the environment, and risk for disease development. Alternatively, SNPs can be used to track the inheritance of genetic disorders within families and provide insight into SNP linkage. The reduced costs and enhanced availability of genomic resources make sequencing and microarray strategies powerful for regional analysis and association traits in plant and animal genomes. Next-generation sequencing has enabled rapid and accurate analysis of large genomes and samples, including global, targeted, and restriction enzyme methods. In certain applications, next-generation sequencing is advanced with lower costs and greater flexibility than microarrays to study genetic variation. Whole genome sequencing or resequencing is distinctively advanced in applications because it allows for the largest number of SNP calls. SNP motifs that are closely linked or even overlap with potential phenotypic variants can be efficiently identified. Therefore, it is suitable for highly heterozygous populations and genome-wide association study. Targeted enrichment methods are ideal for known genomes, example, cattle, rice, given a priori knowledge of the region of interest. There are multiple strategies to perform sequencing based on the number of samples and the number of SNPs, including Sanger sequencing, mass array, TACMAN, snapshot, multiplex PCR-based NGS and probe panel-based NGS. The most cost-effective method is delivered for your project upon request. Genotyping by sequencing, double digest restriction site associated DNA sequencing, and 2B RAD seq methods apply restriction enzymes to generate fragments for sequencing. GBS, also known as reduced representative sequencing, is a strategy for generating whole genome, high throughput sequencing data, by sequencing only a small portion of the genome, effectively reducing the cost of analysis. DDRADseq is a variant of RAD sequencing that treats genomic DNA with double restriction enzymes to eliminate random sharing. The detection area and coverage can be flexibly adjusted without the need for a reference genome. 2B RADseq is similar to DDRADseq, but uses type IIB restriction enzymes and requires a reference genome. It targets all restriction sites and requires highly reduced library sequencing, further reducing losses and processing time. High-throughput DNA microarrays can analyze hundreds of thousands of SNPs simultaneously with probes designed for known sequences, enabling the screening of rare variants at the genome-wide level. The advantage of microarrays is that they can be precisely designed for different purposes, such as susceptibility gene mutations, disease-associated mutations, complex trait studies, and the construction of SNP-based DNA fingerprints. What can we do with SNP genotyping? High-throughput genotyping can identify SNPs associated with economically important factors, such as yield, resistance to biotic and abiotic stresses, as well as quality, at the genome-wide level, which is contributing screening and discovery tools for breeding decisions and improving the value of crops and herds.
The study of associations between gene variants or polymorphisms and drug responses can lead to better future outcomes for individuals and healthcare providers by improving drug safety and efficacy, as well as reducing healthcare costs. SNPs are third-generation genetic markers widely used to assess cancer polygenic risk, progression, and treatment response. Using sequencing and association analysis, the genetic basis of cancers in specific populations, such as breast cancer and lung cancer, has been identified and may drive the development of precision prevention in the future. Sequencing-based genotyping assays bring genotyping and genomics research to a crossroads. CD Genomics, as an advanced genomics service provider, has equipped sequencing-based genotyping technologies as well as SNP array services for our global customers. Please visit our website for more information.